Today we're going to be taking a look at the Pixie, a small form factor laser engraver that is billed as a desktop or hobbyist laser engraver. Full disclosure, I'll go laser sent over the Pixie so we can go ahead and open it up and see what it's all about. The Pixie is a little bit smaller than the other laser engravers we've had a chance to look at on the channel. So it's going to be a little bit interesting to see exactly what's going on here. Right away, we're looking at a manual and some sort of pen or stylus right here. Honestly, I'm not really sure what this is, but check that out in a minute. Packaging wise, everything looks to be in fairly decent order. And here we have the Pixie itself. Right away, the Pixie is definitely living up this name. As you can see, the unit is incredibly small. And it looks like as far as the rest of the packaging is concerned, that's pretty much about it. Aesthetically, what we have going on here looks pretty cool and I'm really liking the design languages. It gives it kind of a future tech design look. Lifting up the shield, it looks like we have just a little bit more going on inside as far as packaging is concerned. So we can go ahead and get that all out of there. Inside the unit, it looks like we have a few more things. We have an extraction hose here with a collar. And then obviously we have our very much needed power cable. Lastly, we have a bag here with a few tools and it looks like a few sample materials. We'll check this out here in a bit. Let's take a second to talk about the sponsor of today's video, PCBWIT. If you're looking to level up your next project or idea, then make sure to check out today's sponsor, PCBWay. With their services, PCBWay is the leading on-demand manufacturer for makers, hobbyists, and designers. And with their best-in-class metal 3D printing services, you can even have your parts printed out of materials like aluminum, titanium, and stainless steel. Not only that, PCBWay offers CNC machining and sheet metal fabrication. And let's not forget, PCBWay is the best in class when it comes to on-demand PCB manufacturing. So if you're looking to level up your next project or idea, then make sure to check out PCBWay today at PCBWay.com. This laser should be fairly straightforward. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and power it on and get it connected to Wi-Fi as the main way that you use the Pixie is in connection with their app. Now that we have the Pixie connected to the network, all I really need to do is hook up the fume extractor and we should be able to go ahead and send something over to the engraver. Just using the Alga Laser app itself, we have a few options for images and text and design things that we can use for the Pixie. So we're just gonna go ahead here and grab some of the sample material and throw it in here. With our sample material in the Pixie, we're just gonna go ahead and grab the focusing tool from the bag. And then on top of the laser head, we should be able to manually raise the Z height and just place this in between our material and the laser module. Let's go ahead and take a look at the app and see exactly what we can throw at the Pixie. Our sample material is loaded and we have the fume extractor on. So let's go ahead and hit start on the mobile app and see exactly how it works out. Our first engraving looks to have come out successfully with this little design right here. And if you know what this is, feel free to let me know in the comments. True to its name, we're not going to get a whole lot more out of the Pixie laser as it's not really designed as a large format engraver. But even with a working area of 100 by 100 millimeters, what we do get is about on par with what we would expect from a diode laser. Being a diode laser, the Pixie has a good amount of variability as to the materials it's able to engrave. Not only can we engrave on wood, but we can also engrave on these coated metal business cards as well as some acrylics, leather, and other materials. Unfortunately, where we see things start to fall apart has to be in the price to the available workspace. You see, this being a 100 by 100 millimeter work area, you have to have very specific use cases to need the Pixie. And once you look at its price tag, it's kind of hard to justify. Now, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love the Algo Laser Pixie. I like its lightweight footprint, its overall design language, and I absolutely love Algo Laser's operating system. But for most hobbyists, I don't see the Pixie being a great fit, as most hobbyists are going to lean towards 
a large format laser engraver, as hobbies have a tendency to do all sorts of different types of projects that the Pixie might not be suitable for. So where exactly does the Pixie fit in? Despite its size, one of the best features about the Pixie has to be its compact form factor and ease of use. Because bigger doesn't always mean better for every use case and environment. When it comes to actually using the Pixie, it couldn't be any easier. Just bring whatever you wanna engrave into the Algolaser app, adjust it accordingly, and when you're ready, hit the frame button to frame it to the material you'll be engraving on. You won't need years of engraving experience and you definitely don't need to subscribe to an eight week online course just to engrave your basic products with the Pixie, which has to be one of the biggest selling points of this laser engraver as realistically, anybody can grab one of these and start engraving. I feel the best place for the Pixie would be in the back room of a local business or a shop where it doesn't take up a lot of space, but it's also incredibly easy for employees and owners to use. The Pixie really shines in individualized product sales where you could tell a customer to come back and 20 or 30 minutes and you'll have their custom name, logo, or image engraved on whatever they just bought. The ability for a small business to be able to offer custom engraving on something like a leather patch or a belt or even your mugs since it's compatible with a rotary tool is something that is great for customer experience. I don't think the Pixie is for the maker or the hobbyist, but I feel like it really excels in your mom and pop small business environment especially when you consider the fact that you could put this in the back of your car and take it out to a fair, a swap meet, or a convention center. Keep in mind, I'm not talking about your businesses who focus on laser engraving as their primary source of income. I'm talking about your small local businesses that want to add a little bit of flair to the products that they sell. And the Pixie is exactly that. It's a small form factor engraver that you can pack and go or throw in the back of your shop and it doesn't take a lot of time sync or investment into training people into software. So for makers, no, the Pixie is definitely not for you. But when I look at the price range and the form factor, it actually makes a lot of sense for the right environment.